Uh, well, hello, class. Uh, welcome to the Consumer Behavior and Fashion Class, CNT4115. <laughs> and I'm your instructor, Su Yan Kim. It's very nice to meet you guys. Mm, and welcome to my YouTube channel as well, because I have created this channel just for a discourse for you and me to interact, to communicate. So if you have any problems uh, listening to this video, viewing this video, or if you have any suggestions, any questions about this um, uh, course introduction video, uh, please ask me any questions or uh, just um, type in hand or okay, here, yes, <laughs> under this video clip so I can make sure uh, that uh, you have no problem listening to me, all right? So today I'm gonna briefly uh, introduce uh, what this course is about, uh, what I want you to learn from this class and the course requirement as well. And I'm gonna uh, introduce the textbook uh, that you're gonna read uh, for this class and I'm gonna um, briefly introduce uh, what you're going to do for the next uh, 15 weeks. Okay, before we start, I'd like to talk to you about the attendance. The attendance will be automatically checked on YSEC because it has a function for me to see that uh, you are here. So if I can check you are here uh, around today or yesterday, I'll mark you present. The YSEC is only additional channel for us to communicate. Uh, okay, you're taking consumer behavior and fashion class and uh, this is for the fashion major students and the students who are very interested in fashion. So I'd like to tell you why you're taking this class. Okay, so you are going to uh, take your career path in the future that you're going to be uh, thinking of being a, a fashion designer. Um, maker or design, um, entrepreneur that you can run your business, you can open your shop or you can create blogs or documentary, fashion documentary films or you can be a fashion consultant or, or directors or any um, jobs that you might take. So uh, that is, uh, you could make and sell your own clothes to another person. So this is important part to understand about your consumer, okay? So your customer and a consumer as a person to know better about him or her because uh, we are um, facing um, rapid changes in the market place in the market circumstances because the market is changing and they have a possibility they have it, it is uh, quite feasible to give um, consumers personalized services and personalized goods. So that is why it is important to know about who your consumer is. So this course is about um, to know about uh, your consumer and uh, how they behave and how they make decisions and such things, right? Uh, so this course is basically humanity course talking about the human beings. But uh, lots of theories that we're going to discuss throughout the course came from social sciences. What is social sciences? Social science is a study about human beings. It's a study about the society and human beings, uh, such, uh, such as sociology, psychology, anthropology, uh, or statistics or economics. And this is a scientific uh, study to understand about human beings. So basically and traditionally, uh, this uh, field has been studied the groups of people, not the individual people. So groups of the people. So their findings of the research were um, very um, uh, 
uh, I'm sorry, uh, the, their findings contributed to uh, for the market marketers to segment, uh, to make segmentations uh, of their consumer groups in certain groups. So these types of consumers are behaving like that. And those kind of types of consumers are doing like that. Uh, but nowadays, they are expanding their views, uh, currently expanding their views to talk about the individual person, to study more about the individual uh, characteristics uh, of a human, of a person. The consumer is a person, so this is why uh, we are taking this kind of expanded uh, view, expanded theoretical views towards the individual uh, person to understand better about their diverse needs and diverse wants, desires, yeah, to know better about him or her, okay? So for the first half of this semester, we are going to talk pretty much about theories that came from social sciences. Okay, so the textbook of this course is consumer behavior, having, uh, I'm sorry, buying, having, and being that has been written uh, by Michael Solomon, a professor of marketing. Yeah, and uh, this book is a little bit old it has been written in 2006 so some of the example is outdated so i'm gonna uh, add some more articles for you to read to talk about more relevant and up-to-date kind of issues that could be uh, controversial or conflicting uh, to one another so we are gonna um, read uh, lots of articles about uh, consumer behavior issues and for uh, this coming um, class on Thursday we're gonna talk about fashion and social sciences that has been written by by Roland Bart okay so we're gonna talk about how he has been talked about and this is a small essay and he is uh, talking pretty much about why uh, we are studying fashion and what is the language of the fashion and he is very uh, famous a uh, scholar who had talked about the meanings of the fashion, the fashion psychology, so it might be helpful for you to read that. So I have uploaded the PDF file uh, of this reading, so please find uh, this file uploaded on the YSEC, right? Okay, so studying uh, fashion consumer behavior, we are going beyond the typology and we are going to look into the individual characteristics of a person. Recently, I have seen this sub opera titled Itaewon Class, and I have uh, brought this example fashion reflecting someone's identity, but you know, it is really hard to know about someone's identity. And fashion is one clue to know about who he is and she, she is or she is, okay? Uh, I was quite impressed to hear the sentence that, that was the line uh, presented on this soap opera that uh, human beings are autonomous, thinking individual, not to be analyzed uh, statistically. Uh, that means um, it takes time to know about the person. All right, and fashion is one clue to talk about uh, somebody's identity, what she cares, what she uh, think importantly. And the reason why I'm telling you like that is the dictionary definitions of these three words. Look at this, consumer, behavior, and fashion. Consumer is a, uh, defined by a person uh, who purchases goods and services for personal use, not for somebody else's use. <laughs> that is for personal use and that could be distinguished from the commercial use, right? And behavior. Behavior is uh, your response to, a, to its environment, that means society, uh, your society. So we're going to talk about um, your uh, responses when you're facing uh, some kind of um, events or what is happening around you. And fashion is one type of behavior, uh, how people are responding uh, to the ideas that is prevalent in the society that you're living in.
all right so as you see fashion is defined as the prevailing style uh, during a particular time that is one definition of fashion and another definition is distinctive peculiar and often habitual manner or way okay so fashion is behavior all right <laughs> as you can see on the line of shakespeare william shakespeare's um a line uh, you can see uh, from the julius cedars um he will after his sour fashion will tell you okay what is sour fashion some kind of uh, cynical and not a very clear or not a uh, simple enough for everybody to understand uh, but effortless kind of not very interested in every possible things so kind of cynical uh, types of your behavior after those fashion period he can tell right so the consumer behavior and fashion is uh, quite uh, related so i can tell you that fashion is the means uh, to reflect uh, someone's identity so we are going to uh, learn about consumer behavior and the fashion behavior at the same time and nowadays we are having difficult times uh, due to the coronavirus and there are some consumers uh, who are stockpiling the mask that means they're purchasing more masks that, than they need. And there was an interesting article which is explaining about these kind of consumers' uh, behavior. Okay, uh, That is posted on CNN. Uh, they have explained about a consumer psychological uh, responses to this unpredictable disease. All right, so their first analysis was consumers' locus of control. Self-certain consumers are being very afraid of losing their control. They cannot control the situation. In that case, they feel um, the anxiety to do something uh, with this kind of situation. So that's why they're purchasing more and more masks. And they have also talked about the consumer's sensitivity to safety. There are some people, some people, uh, they are having higher level uh, of sensitivity uh, to safety. So that is why sensitive people feel perceived helplessness uh, when they're encountering the unpredictable situation like this virus spread. And the third analysis uh, of this report was consumers' level of trust in government and media because they have past experiences that the government or the media is not telling the truth. Uh, that is why uh, they, don't, they don't trust and uh, they'd like to do something yeah, for them to remove those kind of anxiety. Right? So uh, the negative past experiences also influence them to behave like that. Uh, so we can find many different um, ways how uh, people are responding to this disease like coronavirus. Uh, nowadays, I have found lots of people are rereading uh, the past, La Past, uh, translated in English like the plague uh, written by Albert Camus like uh, 60 years ago from now, but uh, what uh, he has Mm, analyze about the behavior of the people who are responding to this kind of phenomenon uh, was quite similar for today's people. Okay, so uh, what he has typolized uh, people um, based on how they're responding to this kind of situation was like that. He has, met, he has mentioned about four types of people. The first type was called activator. Uh, those people are who are uh, responding pretty positively and actively uh, about uh, this situation. So uh, they are being collaborative. That means they're helping uh, each other to confront and to overcome uh, this kind of situation. This is one example to show that uh, the phenomena can change 
change、uh, someone's behavior, like people's behavior. Yeah, and the second type was called the helpless type.、Oh, okay, I cannot do anything. I okay. So people just admit that condition and just wait and give up to do something. And those kind of people, and there are types of the people who is called the avoidant type.、Uh, they cannot、uh, like admit the fact, the situation that they're facing. Oh, it cannot be happen. Okay, all right. So there are a group of people. They refuse to believe the talk of this about the the news about this plague. So there was the third type, and. Another type was the transcendentalist. That means they are becoming transcendent.、Uh, they are overcoming、uh, with the art or the their acts of art, like playing music or their painting or doing some kind of creative job to、uh, forget about this kind of、um, unpredictable situation. That is one type to overcome、uh, to when they're facing this unpredictable situation. Okay. Okay. Now、uh, let me explain about the course requirement. So weekly,、uh, every week we are gonna uh, learn uh, some theories, some、uh, from social sciences to understand deeper about consumer behavior. And、um, for the application of the theory, I'm gonna show you some examples, some up to date examples from newspapers and the scholarly journal of. For you to understand better, okay. And we are gonna have the reading discussion、uh, circle、uh, weekly, but、uh, we cannot meet in class for、uh, the first and the second week. And the third week, I'm gonna explain more about that. And we are gonna start、um, doing discussion on the fourth, fourth, fourth week. All right. And the individual about the individual project, I'm gonna explain in detail next week and、uh, next on the next class. And this consumer profiling report is step by step, weekly, a、uh, biweekly、um, uh, assignment <laughs> for you to applicate、uh, the weeks. Uh, theories that we are gonna、uh, discuss in class, so you are gonna reflect your ideas and、uh, you are gonna do some consumer research like observations or interviews and such things, and you are gonna um uh continue uh to do your individual、uh, project throughout the course. Uh, with me by、uh, getting my feedbacks, and you are gonna continue、uh, to the midterm to the final, and and I'm gonna explain、um, in detail about this project next class. Okay. Right. Okay. Let me、uh, talk to you about the grading policy. Uh, the attendance and the participation is twenty percent, but you can miss the class if you're sick, definitely. And because this is senior level course,、uh, you might have a job interview. In that case, you can definitely miss the class. Please let me know.、Uh, and the biweekly reports is a. Uh, that is supposed to be started on the second week, but I have made some modification on the syllabus to start、uh, this assignment on the fourth week、uh, because we cannot meet for the first two weeks. I'm gonna explain more about this assignment on the third week in class.、Uh, I'm gonna talk to you more about this assignment, and、uh, please don't worry much about this assignment because this is step by step assignment. I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna teach. You how to do the consumer observation, and then you are gonna go ahead to practice to the consumer observation, and I'm gonna let you know how to do the consumer interview, and you are gonna go ahead and do the consumer interview and like that. So、uh, your assignment is going、uh, along with、uh, the 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 course topics and the course、uh, contents. So、uh, don't worry much about that. And your、uh, biweekly reports, 
is on the continuum of your midterm report and your final report as well. So you're going to um, make the collection of your reflections and your ideas to write the midterm um, report and the final report as well. And you're going to also make your individual a uh, presentation in class that it is short five minute uh, presentation. So on the latter part of this semester, you're gonna make a, you're, you're gonna practice to make a presentation. You're gonna make a good job, all right? All right, and the final exam is only for the students who need extra credit, okay? And this is weekly course plan that you can also find on the syllabus. Mm, and it uh, says about the weekly topic and contents and your reading assignment and your uh, uh, report assignment due is also listed on this uh, chart. Um, the TA of this course, Oh Suhyun, is helping me to record this video. Please say hi to the students. Hi. Thank you. All right. Uh, and uh, uh, Oh Suhyun uh, is gonna help us to communicate better, and she is uh, doing study, doing uh, doing research with me in the lab of consumer sciences and the fashion psychology, uh, because she has majored in psychology and fashion psychology, and uh, she has done some several uh, research about the consumption behavior and consumer values. So. Uh, uh, it might be helpful yeah, to ask some questions. Uh, you can either ask me or to her and I have uploaded her uh, email address as well. So if you have any question, please email me or to Suhyun, all right? And last year, what we did was we had uh, some research. We had uh, uh, Suhyun uh, did interviewed Zumba dancers. Right. So uh, we interviewed and observed their consumption patterns and we uh, listened to their stories about their lifetime goals and the motivations and we found out that their uh, consumption values and their lifetime goals and what they expect from their life is quite related. So uh, the consumption value and the value the value, how you see the word and how you see uh, about your life is quite uh, related. So uh, we could possibly uh, characterize these people, uh, the consumer characteristics of these specific uh, people. So we could uh, make some profiles of these people, uh, their lifestyles, their, their hobbies, what they like, and how they make important decisions in various lifetime situations. So um, we could possibly do some research about consumer profiling. And that is what you're going to do uh, for this course as well. So that was about course introduction. If you have any questions, uh, you have my email address, YouTube channel, and mobile phone number, and my the office room number. All right. Okay, so I'll see you next class. Bye.